The video that you are about to watch will not resonate with everyone. Only those who are meant to understand. As a spiritual hierophant, it is my job to make complicated, spiritual matters, simple. When dealing with idols or images of deities and the concepts that are attributed to them, most find themselves worshipping these concepts and energies. The truth is, these idols are forces within nature and within human nature. They are archetypes that express themselves as nature and all living things in nature. The reality is that we are divine variations of that light and source. We are one but we are many. So in this divine light, there are many different variations of energies and frequencies. And as a whole, we are that one source we call God but inside that one, we are the many characteristics of that divine light. The Orshas of West Africa are a great example of this spiritual system. In the Orshas, we find different variations of the one creator. And in their symbolisms, they all have different colors. In my tribe, we wear white in the early stages of life, yellow in our adulthood, and as our main color, and as elders, we wear rainbow, signifying the sign of union with Source and our higher self. Now let's take someone such as Ogun of the Orshas and observe how to apply this concept. Ogun is the Orsha of iron, labor, politics, and a few other things. But here, let's envision a man who works hard and enjoys working with iron and building. A man who is strong outwardly and inwardly and isn't afraid of hard work and struggle. A very masculine energy and man. The reality is that there are Ogun spirits existing as humans right now. We see him or her every day and just assume that this is a person who loves working and labor but don't realize that this is the nature of that person at work. Ogun could be your next door neighbor or your relative. The next example that we will use is Oshun. Oshun is the nature of my being and who I personify. Oshun is the Orsha of femininity, fertility, sensuality, sexuality, creativity, and beauty. This is the very energy that inspires us to reproduce and create. Oshun exists all around us. Not only in the sweet rivers all around us but also in human form. Many women and men are the personification of Oshun. Now with Oshun, it's hard to pinpoint her in human form because Western society as a whole is about using Oshun energy for selfish reasons. So many have learned to imitate Oshun in order to gain wealth and power only. In conclusion, when we think of these ancient spiritual systems and the idols that we create to visualize these spiritual concepts, we should view these idols in the way children view posters of the people they want to grow up and be like. These images are to help us extract that which is within, so it can bloom outwardly.